For many, summer plans are ending as school is set to begin next week. Not to worry, there is still plenty of time to add some sizzle to your plans. 3 News reporter Jalissa Garza joins us live from Moravian Hall with a preview of the 8th Annual Country and Czech Music Fest. Jalissa, good morning. Hey, John Thomas, good morning, and good morning, Coastal Man. That's right, we are here at Moravian Hall, and this is the place to be this weekend. A great way to end your summer plans before heading back to school. And Mike here is going to tell us about this specialty, this tradition, this real kolache. These, these are the real deal. These were made by St. Thomas Church out in Cal Island, and me and Sarah, the one in the black, we were out there making them with Randy, of course. He told us we had to be out there, which we were enjoyed it. Uh, but we made these the other day, and these were going to be on sale for St. Thomas at on Saturday at our polka fest here, our little dance. So these are the real deal. These are not what you get at local places around town that claim to be kolaches that have meat in them, which those really aren't kolaches. That's a Texas Czech thing that's evolved. Uh, those actually, we call them clobus sneaky is the word we use for them. But these are, are have a apple or a cherry or a pineapple or cottage cheese. Traditional Czech flavors, we've always used them. Now the ones in the Czech Republic are probably about five inches in diameter, it's almost like a miniature pie. Oh my gosh. And, uh, but these these, I'm, these are special because these are fat free. Okay. We okay. don't charge for the fat. Okay. <laughs> So, so this but, is just one of the many things that people can expect. And there's also going to be traditional Czech dinner plates sold as yeah. well. We're going to have a Czech dinner plates or sausage and sauerkraut. And are we doing the choppy. choppy sandwiches too? That's right. Okay. Um, so a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. And we will have, most importantly, we will have pivo. This is our Czech word of the day. Pivo is the Czech word for beer. <laughs> So we'll I have love Shiner, that. we'll have, well, I don't have the other ones, but nonetheless. You know, I'm sure John Thomas is getting excited. Did you hear how to say that word, John Thomas, how to say beer? Did you get that? I just want to make sure. <laughs> I, got, I got it. I got it. It's pretty good. And in any language, beer is always good. So, Jalissa, <laughs> thank you. Those clutches look delicious.